This was my go-to microphone for everything I've recorded inside and outside of my house in the past two years. And uh, now I got a new one, a 100 euro microphone. The only question left now, is it good enough to replace my current one? Audio is by no means the number one for most of the creators here on YouTube when they start out. And of course it was no different for me. At the beginning I knew that you should actually use a mic, but hey, I read that my cam also has integrated microphones. So I figured they surely sound alright. And it is also the case that the number of clicks for sound oriented content on YouTube is rather so so. And I'm sure that this video will also be clicked only so so. This is not about clicks anyways, it's about the content. So... At some point I realized that it doesn't really matter what the picture itself looks like. Sure, it should look good and somehow catch the viewer too. But much more important is actually clear, good and meaningful sound. A lot of people watching YouTube mostly listen to it more than actually watch it. And that's why I bought a USB microphone from Rode. Well, it sounded great actually. Everything was great as long as you are in a controlled environment. But then you get out of your makeshift studio and record something in nature or at a friend's house or in the streets. Sure, you can of course make it cumbersome and take your USB microphone and notebook with you and continue to record on it. But uh, yes, no. I figured that directional sound that only picks up your voice is somehow just better than 10 kids, an airplane, 6 cars and somewhere in between there's your voice. That's why I bought a shotgun mic for the camera in addition to my studio microphone. And since saving some money at the beginning of your journey of course, uh, because you don't earn any money with what you do, I still don't. So subscribe and like the video potentially. There was only one possibility, thanks to great experience with Rode microphones, the Rode Video Micro. Good mic, nice, small, no batteries, and the sound that comes out in the end is also quite okay. Setting it up in the studio was always a bit of a hassle, so... Two years later. Two years later, I didn't feel like having two different microphones, two different setups, always rebuilding it when you want to do something different or film in a different spot in your studio. Maybe there is something in the middle price category that can be used for both, uh, which means studio and vlog. Most of you are, as well as me, just don't have 300 euros to buy a Rode NTG or something similar out of your pocket, so here is the solution to that. Ta-da! The Deity D3 shotgun mic. The little brother of the D3 Pro, it only costs roughly around 100 euros and is impressive right from the unboxing. It feels heavy and valuable, the materials used are very good for the price range. All metal, well crafted and the slight yellow accents hmm, are really great. The package itself contains the microphone, a windscreen, the Rycode shock mount and a cable, but more on that later. What is a Rycode shock mount? What's a Rycode shock mount you ask? Good question. So you are wobbling your camera around and you hear all the movement between the mic and the camera in your audio. Bumping will ruin your audio, well, every take. That's actually where a Rycode shock mount comes in. Think of it as a gimbal for your microphone, which eliminates the swings instead of the movements. Super cool about the Rycode mount is that you can move it forwards and backwards on its own axis, which is not only an advantage with special kind of cameras and placement, but also if you want to put the cam and the mic on your gimbal, it makes balancing very easy. The microphone itself is powered by only one AAA battery, which is actually quite good and of course a lot better than the older generations that use 9 volt block batteries. In the meantime, there are also shotgun mics that do not have a battery function. If possible, I would like an updated version without a battery next time. One of the highlights, however, is the microphone's automatic on and off mode. 
As soon as it is plugged into the camera and the camera is turned on, the microphone itself turns on as well. And as soon as you are done with the scene and turn the camera off, the mic goes off too. I can tell you how often in the past I forgot to turn off the microphones after a shot or even worse, forgot to look if it was actually powered on and then only had internal camera sound. A really great feature, which I'm very, very happy that it has been integrated. Strangely enough, this function does not work with the supplied cable when I plug it directly into my camera, in this case, my Pocket 4K. But my old Rode video micro cable works. But as soon as I attach it to my boom pole, the supplied cable together with an extension cord works flawlessly. I don't get it. Here's my setup when I record sound in my home studio. The microphone is mounted directly on a boom stand, which is then pushed next to the camera just outside of the visible area as close as possible to my mouth. The closer the microphone, the more it picks up all the different frequencies as you speak. There are many different ways to mount the boom mic. Some people mount it frontal to your mouth so that you speak directly into it. Other people mount it downwards and attach in front of your mouth. And some people actually don't point it at your mouth at all, but to the upper chest area. I mostly use it in the downward style, which gives a good and clear sound coming from the mouth and my chest area, since I have a darker tone in my voice. A good rule of thumb for how far it should be from your mouth is to make this gesture here and placing it on your forehead. This is mostly the optimal distance to capture great sounding voice and getting the microphone out of frame. Okay, now I've talked about it for a while, but uh, let's get to the most important question. Well, how does the microphone sound when you talk into it? And the great thing about that is, uh, yeah, you've been hearing it all the time. Hmm. I've been talking into the microphone for what feels like the last six months and have absolutely no problems with it. I think it has a nice, clear and warm sound that is more focused on the mids without forgetting the lower or the higher end. And my voice is picked up clearly and can be edited afterwards without too many spikes in it. The YouTube algorithm tells me that a comparison is always a great thing. So here's the mic and, well, some more mics and a lot more mics for you without being edited afterwards. All recordings were made at the same distance from me to the microphone with roughly the same setup. Christmas pudding ist ein gekochter bzw. gedämpfter Pudding und enthält unter anderem Trockenobst, Rosinen, Nüsse und üblicherweise Rinder, Nieren, Fett, wobei letzteres manchmal durch pflanzliches Fett ersetzt wird. Christmas Pudding ist ein gekochter bzw. gedämpfter Pudding und enthält unter anderem Trockenobst, zum Beispiel Rosinen, Nüsse und üblicherweise Rinder, Nieren, Fett, wobei letzteres manchmal durch pflanzliches Fett ersetzt wird. Christmas Pudding ist ein gekochter bzw. gedämpfter Pudding und enthält unter anderem Trockenobst, zum Beispiel Rosinen, Nüsse und üblicherweise Rinder, Nieren, Fett, wobei letzteres manchmal durch pflanzliches Fett ersetzt wird. Christmas Pudding ist ein gekochter bzw. gedämpfter Pudding und enthält unter anderem Trockenobst, zum Beispiel Rosinen, Nüsse und üblicherweise Rinder, Nieren, Fett, wobei letzteres manchmal durch pflanzliches Fett ersetzt wird. To sum it all up, I am absolutely thrilled to use it. And if you want to invest a little more money into a much better microphone than what your onboard camera mic does, be it for your vlogs or for your studio setup, then I can actually advise you to go for the Deity D3. For roughly 100 euros, there are so many good features, great audio quality and a wide range of possible uses, which in 90% of cases is completely sufficient for everything you do, especially if you're on YouTube. Thank you for watching. My name was Leech as always. Click on the subscribe button if you haven't, uh, so you can see future videos from me. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'm off writing the next script. Until then, well, goodbye.